Hi, my name is Matt Blyle with NetSuite. Welcome to NetSuite's Sweet Success pre-recorded demonstrations for Financials First. As a former accountant prior to using NetSuite, closing our books was a cumbersome two-week process that delayed our management team getting the reports they needed to steer the company in the right direction. Today, I'm gonna to assume the role of a controller and walk you through the leading practices around closing the books for my period end and how NetSuite helped my former company, along with thousands of customers, reduce their period close time. You'll notice with Sweet Success and NetSuite's leading practices, how simple of a process it is to close your period with our streamlined month-end close checklist, the pre-built roles that have varying levels of access with internal controls built in, and the comprehensive pre-built reports that allow customers to effectively analyze their business. Let's dive into the demo. Coming into NetSuite, I'm now logged in as the controller looking at my dashboard. As long as there aren't any significant changes or anything out of the ordinary that would require immediate action, I typically start my day with my reminders that serve as actionable insights as to my to-do list for today. Reviewing this, I can see I have journal entries to approve. And since this is the second day of the month, I'm expecting these to be the month end accrual entries before locking down my GL. Reviewing this entry, I can see exactly what it's for. With NetSuite's streamlined chart of accounts and segmentation structure, I no longer need to memorize our five digit account string or sift through thousands of accounts to select the appropriate illegal expense. Instead, I can just select the natural account number and add whatever dimension that is applicable for this entry with the ability to add new dimensions in the future. As part of our approval process, we require support for all accruals and prior to NetSuite, that meant printing out this journal entry along with the support that were then physically signed off on and filed away until February when the auditors came in. NetSuite allows us to attach all the applicable support directly on this journal entry. NetSuite also tracks every change a user has made. So if I ever had a question as to who created or who changed this record, I could reference the audit trail that tracks that information. Also, our auditors can view this information at any time. A process that used to take a significant amount of time printing it off, distributing it around the office, and physically signing off on it can now be done with a single click. Now that I've approved our final accruals, I can continue my day and see what other tasks I must complete. Before NetSuite, our period close checklist was an Excel file, and we would send daily updates to our controller of where we stood. Now that we built out our period close checklist in NetSuite, I'm able to see exactly where we stand on closing the books and get instant updates when any steps in the process have been completed. Now that the final accruals have posted, I know it's time to review our financials to ensure we haven't missed any entries and then lock down our period to ensure nothing else posts to this period. Prior to NetSuite, just running financial reports were a cumbersome process, which were done in a separate reporting tool. Having this functionality native to NetSuite allows me to quickly navigate from journal entries to financial reports in the matter of seconds. One of the reasons our company was able to go live on NetSuite extremely fast was partially due to the amount of pre-built content built into the application. With over 100 pre-built reports out of the box, we had more visibility into our business than ever before. And with NetSuite's easy to use report writer, we we're able to modify and customize reports on the fly. Reviewing this report, I can see if there are any large variances or anything out of the ordinary that would leave me to believe that we are missing entries or double counting something. It was our company's goal to cut back on expenditures this month after a couple months of a steady increase in spend. So with the exception to our slightly larger than average legal bill, I'm expecting our OPEX to be down a little bit this month and hopefully that's reflected in an increase in income. Since our OPEX and income are in line with my expectations, I can now go ahead and lock down the GL to ensure no additional entries get posted. Before we adopted NetSuite, we oftentimes would come across entries that were posted in the wrong period because our system did not lock down the GL. So to ensure that doesn't happen, I'll go lock down my period. Here is my period close checklist broken out by month that NetSuite pre-built into the solution to assist with my closing activities. Unlike our prior ERP, Locking down my GL is just one piece of this process. The closing process has become significantly easier since NetSuite has built out additional automations that further automate previously manual processes. Prior to NetSuite, 
Tasks like revaluing open foreign currency balances and calculating consolidated exchange rates were all manual. And now, with NetSuite, are all automated processes included in this pre-built checklist. As you can see, NetSuite provides separate actions to lock AR, AP, and GL activities. So last week, when my AR analyst finished billing our customers for the month, I was able to lock that portion of my GL down to ensure no additional invoices were recorded in that period. Now that my final accruals have been posted, I can lock down my AP and the rest of my GL to ensure no other entries will be posted to February. In today's demonstration, we experienced how a controller would go about closing down a period with NetSuite's financials first.